Tonight, the plane that crashed in Taiwan is plucked out of its watery grave. Hello and welcome. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. This is a Wednesday night edition of Nightbeat. You're watching Nightbeat on air and Nightbeat.tv online. Tonight, the death toll is now up to 31, with a dozen people still missing. That plus the day's top stories in your two-minute mix. Dashcam video caught the moment of the crash. <laughs> The TransAsia Airways plane clipped a taxi, smashed into a highway bridge, and plunged into the river below. The airline's chief exec says the plane lost contact four minutes after takeoff. <laughs> the pilot called out Mayday three times, no clues yet as to what went wrong. In the midst of the measles outbreak, we are authoring legislation that will abolish the personal belief exemption. Two state lawmakers say it's time to tighten vaccine requirements in our schools. Parents deserve to know that their public officials are doing everything they can to protect their kids. Vaccinating him was hard. Who wants to make their child cry? But we do it. How many personal belief exemptions are filed this school year in California for kindergartners? More than 13,000. The Silk Road led this guy to prison. I think I might. More than a year after the feds arrested Ross Ulbricht at this San Francisco library. Staffers at the Glen Park branch hear a commotion, a small crash coming from the science fiction area of the library, and they identified themselves as being from the FBI. A jury convicted him on all counts. The website sold everything from heroin to hitmen. The foie gras fight is not over yet. Give me two foies, medium. California's attorney general is appealing the ruling that overturned the state's ban on the sale of goose and duck liver. People want to eat foie gras, they should know where it comes from. Activists say it's cruel to force feed birds to produce the controversial delicacy. Tearing apart the stick. Construction crews at Candlestick Park are starting to destroy the seats and stands. Excavators to start the exterior demolition. The concrete walls come tumbling down next week.